Hey guys, it's Awesome Mom. So today, I just want to talk a little bit about a topic that I get asked by pretty much every single person that asks me about Japanese and like all the time in the comments and that as well. And that topic is how do you learn Japanese grammar like in an effective way? Because I've talked about before, I think, probably many times that I never really just full on sat down and studied with like a grammar book or anything like that. Like I said, I pretty much just read through Take Him. Like, you know, if those of you don't know, Take Him's like a Japanese grammar site. Teaches you all the basic grammar, all the stuff you need pretty much to understand basic Japanese or even advanced Japanese if you read in a book or anything, it'll still teach you how to understand all of that. And so I just read through that and that was it pretty much for my entire time learning Japanese grammar. And then people say, well, how's that enough? Like, how is that enough for you to understand all the Japanese? You know, I hear often people will hear certain constructions and they just think, how is it possible you can understand this construction in every single area without having to look up? An explanation for it each time and the answer to that is is that with grammar there's so many different little nuances and different meanings for it even if you do look it up you're not really gonna understand what it means or really anything to do with the whole concept so because of that that means that the only way you're ever gonna get really competent with Japanese grammar and all the different constructions is just purely through hearing all these constructions in multiple different circumstances so like I say with everything at the end of the day it is mainly just how much you input, how much you're listening, and how many different times you hear it in different contexts. Like honestly, it's really a similar process to the way in which say you might learn like a complex verb or noun or anything like that in Japanese. Like for example, in Japanese or any language, there's gonna be like verbs and that, which unless you hear you used in like multiple different circumstances, you're not gonna really understand how you yourself can use them in conversations and how like how they just like the full meaning of the verbs you're not gonna understand. Of course, you know, this being said, rather than just listening to stuff willy-nilly, you know, like just listening to whatever, there is always going to be something you can listen to to improve your acquisition of this quicker. So for grammar, what's really important is getting comprehensible input. You want to be listening to say something you understand 90% of, 95% of, if you really want to be building upon your knowledge of grammar and eventually gain like a really in-depth understanding of how these grammar concept constructs are used in different situations. And this becomes obviously especially important when you go to speak or write yourself rather than just understanding it in all different situations. Like most of the time, at least for me when I was doing it, like when I was learning Japanese, when you hear these grammar cons constructions, if it's in a situation where you already understand 95% of what's going on, you're gonna be able to kind of just pick out the meaning from context. And through picking out this meaning through context in all different sorts of contexts, that's what's going to really build upon your, you know, your understanding of that grammar concept and allow you to use it in your own output. What I think is really important with this is that you don't overthink how to learn grammar. Like a lot of what you don't understand with grammar is most likely not that you don't understand the grammar, especially if you can read and understand all the grammar and you're only having trouble when you're listening. That probably indicates that you, the problem isn't your grammar knowledge, the problem is that your ears aren't picking anything up when you're listening. So all that means is that you just need to improve your oral comprehension and that's going to improve upon your grammar, the amount of grammar you understand. Because the problem there isn't the grammar knowledge, it's just how much you can pick out and how much, you know, of the word are you actually picking out. Like for example, if you don't understand like sentence endings and that, and it's like too fast or something like that, that probably means not that you don't, you need to study more grammar or anything, it just means you need to listen more and build upon your ability to pick out sounds in Japanese. The reason I mention this is because I'm learning Slovak right now, you know, mainly trying to improve upon my Slovak rather than Japanese at the moment. And I have the same problem where like with grammar, if I'm reading it, you know, I can read it and I'll be fine with the grammar. But when I'm listening, shit's so fast, I don't know what's going on and the grammar's just all over the place and I'd have no idea how to use any of it when I'm speaking. But for me, when I hear that, I don't think, okay, time to sit down with my grammar book and study more grammar or look up the meaning of this grammar. No, even if you have a really rough understanding of one grammar context, like construct, all you need to do is just hear that in, a, say, a thousand more different um, situations and that's what's going to give you the full meaning of that construct. It's like, for example, in like Japanese, uh, you know, like filler words, so you might be like, ano, or like something like that, you know, like, um, you know, like that. How are you going to explain what the fuck that means with, you know, a textbook or something? It's just like with the English word so. Like if someone asks you, like a Japanese person asks you, yeah, what does so mean? What the fuck are you going to tell them? Like, what do you, what, how can you actually explain that? There's no way you're going to be able to explain that with words. The only way they're going to understand what that really means is to hear that word so in all different contexts. And that's what's going to build upon their 
understanding of it and eventually allow them to use it in their output. So just like this, when you want to you know, get a greater understanding of Japanese grammar, all you need to do is learn enough, like say read take him or whatever, to get you know, a broad understanding of it and have it so that if you read a sentence in Japanese, you can understand the grammar. If you're at that level, that's enough. And then eventually, the way in which you'll be able to use that grammar in your output is you'll hear it in all different situations and all different circumstances. That'll build upon your baseline knowledge of what it's meant, what it means and like all that. And then eventually you'll get to the level where you can use it in your own output. That tends to be kind of like the general process of how you go from zero, which is, you know, knowing no grammar, no nothing, to, you know, level 100, whatever you want to call it, where you can use it and be able to use it fluently in your output and all that. So I guess the whole moral of the story is you just want to hear these grammar constructs in all different circumstances, all different, you know, things, and eventually you'll get a full understanding of it and be able to use it in your own output. Like honestly, the biggest mistake people make and the worst thing you can do when you're learning grammar is to overanalyze things, start, you know, doing fucking like practice exercises using grammar, doing all that. It's so unnecessary that you there's no bigger way you can waste your time on learning a language than doing fucking grammar exercises so stay away from you know all that bullshit and just you know listen you know immerse in the content you know immerse in the language don't lose you know that whole reef or asia whatever you want to call it mentality of immersing in the content and approach grammar the same way you would is approaching how you get better at i don't know learning new like learning how to use new words and stuff like that. It's the same process, it's just a different construction. Instead of being words, it's now, you know, what is it? Grammar. So it's the same process really. Just don't think about it too much, just listen, and eventually you'll heard those grammar constructions in so many different circumstances, you'll be able to use it. So that's it for today, guys. That's all I really want to talk about today. If you have any more questions about grammar or anything like that, leave it in the comments. I might make another video like, you know, a Q&A on grammar or whatever. But just leave some questions in the comments if you have any about grammar or anything related to it. And yeah, let me know if this helped. Thanks, guys.